by the end of this video you will be able to solve the domain of this function and then choose an answer from one of these options among different types of domain and range questions seen in the exams domain simply means all possible allowable x values you can permit in your function considering the denominator we have absolute value here absolute value or modulus removes minus or a negative of a number or variable that is absolute value or modulus simply rejects negative for example if you give absolute value minus one which is the same thing as modulus of minus one is going to return a positive it will simply reject the negative if you give absolute value or modulus a positive number it will return back that positive number subsequently this question is the same as this consider the denominator only and zero at the denominator will stop this function from existing at the denominator whenever x is equal to minus one this absolute value will reject the negative and return one and one minus one will return zero hence at x equal to minus one at the denominator we are going to get zero also whenever x is equal to one the absolute value will return one and one minus one will return zero hence we are going to get zero again at the denominator hence if absolute value is replaced with x squared at the denominator we are going to have the same problem because both minus one and one square we still give you one minus one which is zero ensure that the minus is enclosed in a bracket and from the basic rule you can see that zero is not allowed at the denominator of a function subsequently this is the same as this one squared is the same thing as one and this is simply difference of two squares and difference of two squares can be rewritten as x minus one in bracket x plus one this means whenever x is equal to one or x is equal to minus one this function will cease to exist which is same as this function from the number line whenever x is equal to minus one or x is equal to one the function will terminate however all numbers going towards the negative infinity and towards the positive infinity including zero is allowed except minus one and one mathematically our answer will be represented as all real numbers towards the negative infinity and towards the positive infinity is allowed except minus one and because it's a quadratic we're going to extend it to minus one not allowed at the denominator also one not allowed at the denominator and one not allowed at the denominator this extension is because it is absolute value and we join this statement using union this is our answer another way to represent our answer is all real number is allowed except 
minus 1 and 1. This answer has been represented in interval notation, while this answer is represented in set notation. Both are the same. Next, we choose our answer. From the options, our answer is D. You can check out other ways of solving different questions in domain and range functions and other topics in pre-calculus. You can locate and assess other videos by following the link on the screen. I will see you in the next video.